For the third year in a row, I am at an Indiana amusement park for Labor Day weekend. In 2021, I was at Holiday World. Last year, I was at Indiana Beach, and this year, I am back at Holiday World. My Labor Day weekend trip here in 2021, I was here for two days. I'm only gonna be here for one day today, and we got 10 to six, unfortunately, so not a ton of time, but I'm still really excited to get on all these rides, especially Raven. If you guys saw my Holiday World vlog from uh, back in June, you'll notice that Raven was down the entire day, so I never got to experience it. This vlog is actually the boys at Holiday World, as you guys saw by the title. So Ryan is joining me, my brother's joining me, and then obviously Elsa joining me. So it'll be cool to get on all these rides and uh, see how Raven is running because I haven't rented this year yet. So I don't know how it's running. And also Ryan, when he was last year, Legend was down for him. So he'll be able to get on uh, Legend for his first time since uh, 2021. Given how Legend was running great for me this year, I don't see how it should be any different today. So looks like we got a sign saying that all the rides are opening, but Raging Rapids is retired. Guess that means everything is up and running. So let's go and have a good experience here at Holiday World. <laughs> If you're probably the most excited to ride Raven, I know what you're thinking. Why don't you rope drop it? Well, you see here, it's called Voyage and Thunderbird Exists. And uh, I would rather ride both of those over Raven right now. So that's why I'm going to rope drop Thunderbird as usual. Then do Voyage and then work my way back up to Raven. And then I'll do, I think, Raven before Legend if the line isn't bad for Raven. Otherwise, I'll do Legend and then Raven. Goodness gracious, that hill was brutal. Ryan, I made it to Thunderbird. We're going first train of the day. Let's see if we're the only ones on it. But I don't think that's the case because there are some other people behind us coming up the ramp just as they open the line. So we're probably not going to be the only ones on, but let's go for it. From morning ride, Thunderbird. Number was great. Ryan, first time on it since the last year. What'd you think? Oh, I love this thing. So yeah. good. It destroys any other wing coaster. That's not even a close fight, because I mean, I think the second one on my list is X Y, and that's like well over, I think, 100 spots behind Thunderbird on my list, I think. So. It's Nice. Yeah, it's ridiculous how good it was running. So positives, it wasn't as strong as I remembered back in June. That is because it was a morning ride. We're gonna go do the right wing because we just did the left wing. <laughs> <laughs> on Thunderbird was more intense than a uh, left wing. Right, you said that uh, your legs are going down the whole ride. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm not crazy when I say this thing was feeling like a BNM member for the last few years. because It's just actually insane. Ellis, you rode Voyage and Thunderbird. How was it? I don't know why a few of them thought Voyage was running bad, but I, I didn't feel any different from it. Like, it was still running fast and smooth for me. Yeah, so. which uh, we're actually going to go ride Voyage now. Actually, really quick, uh, what did you think of Thunderbird? I know you also rode that. It was super fast. Like, it caught me off guard at times. Yes, it was running ridiculous today. Yes, it was, but I enjoyed it, so. I know it's running good and uh Ellis mentioned that uh, he thought that well, okay. his brother said or my brother said Voyage is running bad. If that's true, I need to go give it a try, which we're gonna do right now, and see what's up with it. it looks like the line is down the steps, which I hope is not under a lot of the station. That line isn't too bad, we'll be on probably fairly quickly here. So let's go take a ride on this amazing gravity group and see how it compares to a lot of the other rides I've ridden recently, which uh yeah, but down here. Other wind coaches that may move completely better than Voyage, which is El Toro. I don't do not like 
Al Cora more than the boys, because boys is still my number one, even after all those rides I rode. And also I rode uh, Orion and BG King Tide, which also should be in Diamondback too. Let's see how old Voyage holds up today. <laughs> Voyage. I don't know what to say. That thing is on another level of insane. I was getting lateral ejector all over the place. Especially on the spaghetti ball. I don't recall the airs I've ever been that strong over there. And then this twisted hill. Oh man. I don't know what to say. I'm gonna go ride Raven now. Maybe do Legend on the way. If that line isn't bad, which I saw both of them running. So I know they are open. I'm gonna go, I think do Raven first. Just cause I haven't ridden that in a long period of time. And I really want to ride Raven. Like I have the most excited ride that I have, I think, ever been. So let's head up that direction and take a spin on that awesome CCI. If not two spins. That is a long line for Raven. But I have not written it this year yet, and I really want to do it, so I'm going to wait it out. wasn't as intense as I remember, but it was still a fantastic experience. I would like to get a second ride, but I don't see it happening, unfortunately. The lion's always like this, but it's a lot shorter now than what it was for me when I was waiting for it, so. That'd be nice to ride it again, but I don't know if that'll happen. Plus, my interest is between riding this again or getting more Thunderbird or Voyage ride, I would say the latter. Thank <laughs> you. 
surprised that Second to Back Row on Voyage for the first time since uh, Hollywood Nights last year. I did not ride it in the back of the train on my last trip here because I only rode it in the front. But I'm gonna try Second to Back because I haven't done it in a while and I want to see how it rides back here. And uh, we did Raven again in the front row. We were gonna try Legend, but that's been having technical difficulties throughout uh, quite a bit of the day. So we're gonna go over there after we do Voyage here. Otherwise, we'll uh, go do Gobble Boy. We haven't done that yet. back row on voyage was a little too much on my neck it was quite aggressive and i didn't enjoy it too much because of it i mean i still liked it it was a great ride but i would definitely prefer the front row over that and uh legend is back up and running it looks like the billy line so let's go take a few laps on this just rode legend and that was actually scary with how intense that ride was the laterals on the whole ride especially that helix were just crazy i was riding with Els in the front row he was freaking out in the helix because of it i was even freaking out in the helix go out to stand the lateral floor it was just nuts so earlier when it was like uh, down the seven to a lot of the lower streets, but since it was down earlier, it scared a lot of people out of line. So we're taking advantage of it and doing multiple laps on it. Raven's apparently a station way because Ryan and Ellis went up there while I was waiting to get on Legend a second time. And uh, I think I just saw him in the front row of one of the trains. So I'm gonna go up and meet him at the exit. And then we'll take a ride on uh, Fright Falls because uh, we haven't done that yet and it's kind of hot out here. Round three on Raven was amazing. And uh, now we're gonna do Frightful Falls because we haven't done this one yesterday. And uh, it's kind of hot out. So I guess let's get wet on uh, what might be our last uh, vlog form challenge of the year. So let's see how what we get on this.
whole time because it was so intense. That was way better than my rides earlier this morning. It was just amazing. It was taking each of the elements much faster than this morning. It was just really, really good. So yeah, definitely my second favorite ride in the park still, and it's uh, not exactly close. But it can come nowhere near Voyage for me. But is this better than Raven and Legend? For me, absolutely, although a lot of you may disagree with that. Got an hour until the park closes already, which is insane because today it felt like it flew by. I just rode Voyage again. It was just as good as I remembered. So intense, so fast, great airtime, it was just a mess. Good gravy construction update. Just a bunch of dirt. Not really anything happening as of now. We actually got some floors in place, which is kind of cool. But other than that, nothing else has really changed. We got a little sign for it right over here. So that's pretty cool. What I would like to do before the park closes is to get two more rides on Thunderbird, once on each wing. So I want to do one more on the left and then one more on the right because I made eight rides on Thunderbird this year. Back in June, I did three on the left wing, two on the right wing. So I did twice on the right wing today and once on the left wing. So I'm going to go ahead and do left wing one more time and then right wing one more time and see if we can get on Thunderbird two more times and then get to Galva Getaway and do that once before the park closes. So not sure I'll be able to make it in time, but that's what we're going for. So let's try it out, see what we can do. Reached my 10th ride on Thunderbird for the year. We did five on each wing and I was able to ride with a single rider in the front row. So I got on a lot quicker than I would have been able to otherwise. We got about two minutes until the park closes. Let's see if I can get to Gobble Getaway in time for one ride, but I doubt it because they closed Thunderbird's light off. So I don't know if Gobble Getaway is going to be open by the time I get there. So let's hide Taylor down. Let's see if we can make it in time. I think I just missed getting Gobble Getaway in time because right when I was getting into the Thanksgiving section or the area near where Voyage and Gobble Getaway are, they had closed the doors leading into the Gobble Getaway building. So I think I barely missed it for like a few minutes, but that's all right. Final ride count. It was five on thunderbird three on voyage three on raven and two on legend and one on frightful falls so this is the first time in a long time that i didn't ride gobble getaway so it just feels wrong that i didn't get around to it but i had other priorities for today especially riding raven which i believe if i didn't wait an hour for it earlier i would have been able to get on it because well, i rode it twice earlier this afternoon like after that one of them i waited like 20 minutes and the third time it was a walk on so that was probably dumb on my part for waiting an hour for it I mean, it went wrong. There was some awesome highlights to today at Holiday World, which include really good voyage rides, getting back on Raven finally, getting amazing rides with Thunderbird, and the Legend was also good. And uh, too bad Fry for Falls wasn't that great, but uh, it was nice to get on. And also, I mean, I didn't ride Galva Getaway, but like I said, if I had to choose between getting 10 rides on Thunderbird for the year or doing Galva Getaway once, I would have chosen 10 rides on Thunderbird anyway. So I guess that concludes the boys of Holiday World. Before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoy about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. And if you're new to this channel, like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. So I'd appreciate you subscribing and to the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park. So you should check me out there as well via the link in the description. My next vlog will be back from Six Flags St. Louis and it'll be for the Ace event, Daredevil Days. So stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.